What's happening guys? Hi Yolo, another beer video. I got an equilibrium beer today. <clears throat> Never had a beer from done before. I've always wanted to try it, but this is a collaboration, or at least I think it's a collaboration because of the uh, logo that's in the center of the equilibrium logo here. It's a collaboration with Evil Twin, I believe. Try to, there we go, that's better. It's called Even More Unbalanced. Um, the even more portion really gets me too because it's uh, an evil twin uh, beer, like even more Jesus and even more etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. They do a lot of even more stuff. Uh, so I believe this is a collaboration, even though it doesn't say here on the beer. It says Brewed at Equilibrium Brewery, Middletown, New York. 10% um, ABV, by the way. And then there's literally nothing else uh, on here. But I think, oh yeah, candy date. I thought it was going to be on the bottom. But it's on the side here. It's canned on 310 2020. Today is the fourth I believe of um, <clears throat> April uh, yeah nothing else on the can that indicates it's an evil twin collab nothing at all uh, other than oh yeah the background too the background is definitely very very even more Jesus like uh, background with the like sunrise or Japanese sunrise type artwork uh, or at least I that's what I remember being on those cans and bottles Anyways, man, to present ABV, triple IPA, let's get into a glass. It looks like, smells like, tastes like, hopefully great. Um, I don't expect this to be a haze, but I kind of do at the same time just because everything's been like hazy uh, IPAs these days. So, oh yeah, definitely a haze. I don't know why I was expecting not to be. Uh, let's call that good there. Hopefully not malty or anything, never seen it before. Again, never had an equilibrium beer. Pour with about a finger of head, very yellowy, orangey. Uh, yeah, just a nice head. Have you seen this type of head before? Frothy, soapy. Looks like it's gonna sling around for a little bit. Uh, I thought it was gonna form a little bit more head than just that finger. It was actually a little bit shy of a finger. Uh, but yeah, just this yellowy, orange head. I would say more yellow than orange. It's just a very bright, very vibrant, very nice looking head. The beer itself looks, let me put it away from the light. I keep forgetting, the light's on my right side now. Put it away from the light for a sec. Yeah, it's just like a, um, uh, like a not quite sunny tea, but also it's like a mixture of sunny D and Tropicana. It's like this yellowy orange color. Put it to the camera now so you can actually see it. On camera, it's definitely show up a lot brighter because of the lights, <clears throat> but it is this yellowy orange color. Almost like fresh squeezed orange juice, I guess, from, but then mixed with like Tropicana, not Tropicana, um, Sunny D. Uh, it has like, like that yellow artificial color, but it also has like, it, it kind of looks like a mimosa. There we go. Looks like a mimosa, like champagne and orange juice mixed together. That's the color of it right there. Let's get the nose. The nose says otherwise, man. The nose is like straight up fresh squeezed orange juice. Like I just ground a bunch of oranges and just squeezed it into this glass. It smells pretty damn good. It smells slightly tart, like fresh squeezed orange juice tart, not like sour beer tart. Oh, pithy. Give it a quick swirl. Kind of grassy, herbaceous as well. Just a, just a tad. But yeah, that orange, that orange is coming through strong. It's like a huge citrus bomb. Oh man, that smells great. Might have to pick up more of this if it, you know, the, the flavor follows the nose. Yeah, this smells like very, very fresh, squeezed citrus. I, I, I don't know how else to explain it. It's very citrus dominant. Oranges, just oranges, man. Nothing else, just a lot of citrusy orange. Uh, let's get the flavor. Cheers. That's pretty damn good. Slight, a little malty, but just a little, just a little malty. Um, for a triple, first sip, didn't taste any alcohol at all. And I was hoping it wouldn't be extremely malty. It's not, it's just a tad malty, it's good. Mouth feels solid, dude. You said it's pillowy. Not necessarily thick or anything like that, but it's definitely pillowy. Uh, there's some body to it. I'm gonna say a medium body. <clears throat> some pithiness on the towards the end there. Slight, slight pithy bitterness, which kind of rounds out the sweetness, which is great because if not, I think it would be too malty, too sweet. Um, but with that pithy bitterness, it's great. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm gonna say the bitterness starts around the middle of the beer when you're you know, it's just kind of starting to work it down um, the throat and that hoppy, pithy bitterness kind of just lingers around the entire time. I'm gonna say it gets progressively more bitter, which is good because it does get sweeter as well as you drink this. Um, so that works great, man. Just a lot of citrus flavors. Uh, not as much as you would get on the, or that I got on the nose, but it's still very present on the palate. I would say pithiness is maybe a tad more present than the actual citrus juice itself. It's not a huge juice bomb by any means. Uh, on the nose, you could have fooled me. I would have been like, oh yeah, this is gonna be like a huge orange juice bomb. Um, not quite, the juice is there, but the bitterness, and uh, yeah, that bitterness, hoppiness is definitely more present than that juice quality, which is good. Because um, if I feel like if that juice quality was to dominate uh, over that bitter hoppiness, that the beer would be probably too sweet, too malty, uh, wouldn't be able to enjoy as much. And now that I'm speaking, it kind of taking in the beer a little bit more. I'm getting more alcohol presence. It's starting to slightly be. Um, present in the back of my throat here, getting slight warming sensation in the throat, in the chest. Uh, yeah, still just good solid beer, man. Triple IPA, don't get a whole lot of those uh, on the Seattle just because like they're kind of rarer to find. You usually find more double IPAs than anything. Uh, triple IPA is not so much, and usually when I drink them, kind of, or look at them, kind of skeptical about them just because like past experience, they're just way too malty and like it's just, it takes that just to get it up in that ABV range. This is a very well-made beer, man. And this slight grassiness up front, just a little bit. Um, grassy herbaceousness, just a little, it's just kind of peeks its head out, shows its presence and then it's gone. Uh, and I don't know about, I don't know what happened on the last sip, but the body like thickened up quite a bit. I'm not sure if it's just like had a lot of saliva in my mouth from talking or what, but I might take another sip, see if it's still there, because that was a really thick mouthfeel. No, unless it would have just been the saliva or whatever. Uh, same, same mouthfeel, medium. It's a good, it's a good body for this beer. I like it. Uh, definitely would pick up another can, probably will pick up another can because I'm sharing this can today. But yeah, very good beer, man. Uh, first time having an equilibrium beer. I know it's not like a pure equilibrium beer because it's collaboration with um, Evil Twin, but still, I mean, I like Evil Twin. Equilibrium, I've seen a lot of good things about them, so I'm excited to try, you know, start seeing them here. I will eventually get a equilibrium beer, like it's just a Equilibrium themselves not a collab and uh, do a video on it just because I've seen a lot of like good reviews on their beers They seem to be brewing a lot of good stuff quality stuff, of course um, But yeah, this is uh, Equilibrium and Evil Twin Collaboration called uh, even more unbalanced triple IP at 10% ABV if you guys like the video give a thumbs up Comments down below subscribe for more videos and as always oh wait hit that bell for notification of new videos And as always dream big dreams and believe all things are possible. Thanks for watching. Cheers